Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up today I am bringing you guys backup worthy fragrance mist these are all going to be fragrance mists that I would personally want to back up in my collection and so I'm giving you guys recommendations so that you could potentially back up these fragrances as well especially if you're blind buying or you have not smelled any of these I'm here to tell you that I feel like nine times out of ten with these particular scents you will like them even if you're blind buying so I really try to make my recommendations helpful I try to give you guys so much information and my thoughts on the fragrances just so you can better make a decision you all know that fragrance is subjective and we all have different sense of smell so you might smell something different in the fragrance that I don't particularly pick up and then vice versa but for the most part I try and recommend the fragrances to you guys that I feel like you would like as well so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing just recommending these fragrances that I really really enjoy or have been enjoying for one reason or another and at the time that I'm making this I still don't have my body care day order in the mail I can't speak on the new fragrances that just came out I do have one of them which is prismatic stars but I have not wore that one yet to really give it a test so I'm not gonna speak on any of those new fragrances life of the party and all of that but the ones that I am going to speak on all of these are available right now I have Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret fragrances and they're all available right now and these are all winter fragrances like all of these came out for the winter time so you will be able to enjoy them this holiday season all the way up and through till March to the end of winter so we're getting real seasonal real festive around here I hope you guys are going to have a great holiday season as well I'm so in the holiday spirit like I know this intro is being forever but I'm so in the holiday spirit y'all don't even know I'm super happy that's why I'm coming on here super festive today I'm gonna try and make all of my videos looking super festive and like holiday ready because I'm just I'm really into the holiday season but Without further ado, let's get into the scents. So starting with Bath and Body Works, Vanilla Mocha Cream, aka Vanilla Mocha Martini. I definitely think that this scent is backup worthy. I'm gonna go ahead and get my backup scent during SAS. This gives me like literally, quite literally a mocha cappuccino, like heavy on the mocha. And then you have like vanilla cream, vanilla cold foam, or like vanilla syrup. It just really gives me that type of vibe. So it's not a full on coffee fragrance, but it's sweeter and more lactonic, milkier and creamier and smoother than that. But listen, y'all know Choco Must has been my absolute favorite perfume here recently. And we all know. If you have Choco Must, then you already know that this pairs well with it. I'm pretty sure y'all have already paired those two together. But they are absolutely amazing. And I'm running through my Choco Must perfume, so I'm definitely going to need a backup of Vanilla Mocha Cream, aka Vanilla Mocha Martini, to go ahead and keep using it with my Choco Must. So I love this fragrance. I think it is so good. And it's kind of different than what we've seen from Bath & Body Works because while this is sort of like, you know, a vanilla, creamy, like tonic, milky type of scent, we rarely get like chocolatey scents from Bath & Body Works. We had hot cocoa and cream. What's another chocolate scent that we have? I don't think we've had very many. I mean, they had chocolate covered cherries, but that doesn't really count. We haven't had any like heavy chocolatey mocha type of scents. And I feel like this one is definitely heavy on that mocha kind of chocolatey, creamy, milky type of scent. So I really do enjoy this one. And I definitely think that it is backup worthy. Most people who smell this are really going to like it, really going to enjoy it. Unless you were looking for something different, something more coffee like then you probably wouldn't like this but i think that this is very universal and well liked so definitely backup worthy the next one y'all are gonna be so surprised don't get on me okay don't get on me fireside flurries okay hold on hold on before y'all come for me in the comments i still don't love her okay i still don't love fireside flurries but she has grown on me a lot quite literally you guys do y'all hear this there's like this much fragrance left in here because I have been flying through this. This is another one that pairs well with Choco Must. Choco Must pairs with everything. It goes with everything. And I love that perfume. Listen, I love it. But it goes so well with this. And y'all know that when I layer this, I try and get rid of the lavender that's in this fragrance because I think that overall, this is a really nice fragrance. I just don't like the lavender in it because it can make it smell a little bit hmm, masculine, you know? But the Choco Musk 
makes this so much more smooth and creamy almost like a s'mores fragrance because for this one you have the toasted marshmallow and you have the cashmere woods it is more of like that toasty woody fireside marshmallow scent and i really enjoy that i just wish it didn't have the addition of the lavender but when i mix it in with choco musk it smells amazing so for that reason I need another Fireside Flurries because I want to mix it and layer it. And I really have been enjoying that toasty marshmallow scent. I feel like this is definitely the winter version of Beach Night Summer Marshmallow. Because y'all already know I backed up Beach Nights. But I do want another one of these for the winter time. I just think that it's super nice on that toasted marshmallow type of scent. So layering this, I need another one. So the next scent is going to be an all-time favorite. I have mentioned this one so many times on my channel. Y'all already know this one. Y'all already love this one. But I still have people asking me about this scent. So this one is for y'all. This is Christmas cookies. This is 100% backup worthy. Now, let me just say I have not smelled Christmas cookies from this year because I still have this Christmas cookies, which is from... 2020 i believe and then i also still have the one from last year 2021 so i have not yet smelled the online version of the 2022 christmas cookies but i'm assuming that they all smell the same and they have that heavy cookie dough almond biscotti caramel type of scent which is just a masterpiece literally this is one of the best gourmands that they have ever done it is raved about for a reason because it is just so yummy it is so good when you wear this people literally think that you smell like cookies and you smell edible and gourmand it's just an amazing fragrance i always have at least another one of these in my collection so if i go through this one because this one is about a third of the way gone if i end up going through this one i would definitely need a backup of it so i would 100 percent recommend that you guys get a backup of it as well because it is so worth it a newer fragrance that I feel like is so, so worth it. You guys, you guys. I didn't know I was going to fall for this fragrance like I have. Strawberry Snowflakes. Listen, you need this one. You need this one. For those of you out there who are saying that this smells like strawberries, um, strawberry pound cake, um, no. So this is different. No, this is, this is different. Every time I smell it. So this is different, okay? So... The scent notes are Juicy Strawberry Whipped Cream Ice Bergamot. When you are first smelling this scent, you definitely get that juicy strawberry. Oh my God, the strawberry in this smells so ripe, so juicy and sweet. Almost glazed, like it's so sugary sweet, fruity sweet, like it's just so good. But then you get the ice bergamot in there to kind of give it a little bit of tang, you know? And then when it dries down, you get the whipped cream and it almost smells like strawberry milk. I have been obsessed with this fragrance quite literally. I wish I could show you guys where I'm at on this bottle because I'm like down to here. I have been using the crap out of this fragrance and what prompted me to start using this fragrance really, really heavily. I put the wallflowers in around my house because during the wallflower sale, I bought this fragrance. I put them in around my house and I was just like, something smells so freaking good. Like what even is this? Something smells amazing. It was these wallflowers. Okay. So then I started wearing the body care and I was like, this scent this scent is amazing and it is a tragedy it's a tragedy that it is so soft because if this was heavier and like beast mode oh my god this this would have to move up to probably like top five or something because it is literally that good i 100 percent need a backup and i know that i like a fragrance when i want it in different forms so now i want this in a hand soap because i do believe it comes in hand soap i want this in a hand soap i want more wallflowers i want the candle i want the body care that's how i know that a scent is amazing if i want backups of not only the body mist but everything else that it comes in so yes definitely can't rave about that one enough another one that i can't rave about enough this is my scent of the day. Once again, layers extremely well with Choco Musk. Extremely well, because that's my scent of the day right now. Wrapped in vanilla. Y'all had to know that this one was going to make the list. Wrapped in vanilla is freaking spectacular. They did an amazing job with this one. I haven't been like super wowed and just like overwhelmed with a fragrance in so long, but that is what Wrapped in Vanilla is for me. For me, for me personally, I love it. Highly recommend it. I think it is absolutely incredible. It's just so good. It is just so good. Every time I smell it, every time I spray it, I'm just like enveloped in this super creamy, 
super sweet, super heavy vanilla scent. Um, the more I smell it, the more I feel like it has like a graham cracker note, maybe, or something. There's something heavier in this fragrance, heavier than the Chantilly cream. This is just so good. It's so yummy. I love this fragrance. And again, I'm wearing it with Choco Must today. Can't stop smelling myself. So highly recommend that one. And again, Blush Cardigan, another new one. Highly recommend this one as well. I know a lot of people want to know if this one is the same as Autumn Drive. This one to me is different than Autumn Drive. Something about this is more sugary candy like. And then you have like that violet that gives it something different. But the violet doesn't overtake the sugary sweetness of this fragrance. It still smells like super, super sweet. Um, it has a little bit of maturity in it from the violet, but it's just there to like really balance out the scent. I think that this one is better than Autumn Drive, but that's just my opinion. I really, 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 really do like this one. So they did amazing with this one as well. And it is definitely backup worthy. I know because I already bought a backup, but at SAS, I might buy more because I feel like they're going to be cheaper at SAS. So yeah, would definitely recommend that. Now for my Victoria's Secret fragrances, y'all can probably already guess which ones I'm gonna say are backup worthy based off of my review that I quite literally just did. So Bare Vanilla Lux, yes, I can definitely say that this one is backup worthy. Something about this is different than the original Bare Vanilla. It just smells, I don't know, it just smells more classy. It just smells more high end, more luxe. The marshmallow in this is so rich and creamy. The marshmallow in this is thick. I really like it. And Bare Vanilla Untamed, I always say that that Bare Vanilla smells like a toasty marshmallow scent, even though marshmallow is nowhere in the scent notes. This one has that marshmallow in the scent notes and it is so good. It is so, so good. And it still has the vanilla cashmere, but it's more so in the background. It's not a super heavy cashmere Bare Vanilla, but this one is definitely backup worthy. I do like that one. I also like Love Spell Lux. This one is super backup worthy because the apricot in this is so pretty. And then that Blush Santal just comes in and makes it just more high end, more high class. This, this definitely takes me back. This reminds me of like 90s Victoria's Secret fragrances. Something about this is giving me what my aunt used to wear like back in the day. So that's another reason why I really, really like this fragrance as well. It really gives me 90s Victoria's Secret fragrances and I'm obsessed with it. I think that is super, super nice. So um, the next one is Merlot Pear. Y'all heard me talk about this one saying how I wish I had got the lotion for this one. I messed up with that, okay? Because this one is so, so good. Blackberry and glazed fruit. So definitely, oh, this one smells so good. Definitely get like this Merlot wine fruity type of scent. It is so sensual and sexy. I don't know. I tell you all the time, like when it comes to the wine and champagne fragrances, I always feel like they smell so sexy. And this one does. And then you get like that ripe pear. It's like super, super ripe, almost on the verge of being mushy. So super good. This is definitely backup worthy. And I know because I need to find me a lotion and probably just get a whole nother set because it is super, super good. And then the same with Flower Sorbet, which this is going to be the very last scent. This one is Black Currant Ice Sugared Peony. The Black Currant Ice basically makes this smell like a slushy. I told y'all this already. This smells like a slushy fragrance and it is just fruity. It's icy. It's good. This is another one that gives me that 90s nostalgia, Victoria's Secret type of vibe. So I think that's another reason why I really, really like this one. Something about this smell, like it gives me just fragrances from the 90s from Victoria's Secret. And I really like that. And that is a part of the reason why I really like Victoria's Secret fragrances because they take me back to my childhood. They're strong, they're long lasting. So those are definitely backup worthy for sure. And with that, you guys, those are all of the fragrances that right now currently I think are backup worthy. I would definitely add to this video. Um, well, I probably wouldn't add to this video because from Body Care Day, the only new scents that I got were the new ones that came out, Prismatic Stars, Life of the Party, and all of that. So I will probably update on my community tab if I feel like those are backup worthy as well. But those are all of the scents as of right now, currently that I feel like are backup worthy, that I need backups of, that I bought backups of, or whatever the case may be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed it. If you're new, you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace